Well, how has this first year been for you, uh, transitionally wise? And um, well, the game's a lot faster. Um, it's a lot more physical. Uh, a lot of fun. The shot clock is definitely a big difference. Playing the game, the speed's a lot faster. Guys are very smart, so just getting that used to that faster pace adjustment to the game. They say that the the first year, you know, it takes a little bit. Did did you find that to be true to get used to the speed of the game, or were you able to adjust pretty quickly? Oh uh, no, it definitely took a little while to get used to. I'm still learning a ton, and the guys are giving me great advice, so I'm happy about that so far. But. What does it mean for you to be able to learn from these guys? Oh, it's, I mean, every practice and every game I'm learning something new. So that's probably the best part is I just learned something today too. So it's pretty fun. What did it mean for you to be a part of the Loyola team? I know they have such a great lacrosse program and such a great history with the NCAA tournaments that they were able to appear. And what did it mean for you as a lacrosse player to be a part of that program? Oh, that's that's not, not the real to me. I mean, playing for Coach Jimmy, Coach Juan, Coach Shimadi, Mets Bauer, Coach Magnus, to play with them, the lacrosse family at Loyola was lifetime experience. Now from what I understand this weekend you'll be facing a couple of your former teammates. Yeah. I mean is that gonna be like it's gonna be a little weird, yeah. I'm outnumbered. There's a couple of them. I think there's like five of them or so maybe but it'll be fun. Nice to see them all and it'll be different seeing them on this different side of the field. Now from what I understand uh, you're a perfectionist but you also bring a physicality to your game. How do you balance both being a defensive player because it's <laughs> Um, just having balance, yeah. that's probably the biggest thing. Is I'm probably not the, the biggest, uh, most athletic guy out there, but I just try to have a little balance between using your head and using your body. Now, being from upstate, did you ever imagine, uh, you know, you'd get to play for a professional lacrosse team? And no, not at all. It's pretty lifetime experience. It's definitely something I'm very appreciative for. It's fun so far, so I'm happy about it. I know uh, this weekend is a big weekend. Uh, you know, you have a lot of teams all clustered together in the standings. How do you think uh, you guys could approach this next game to get a more positive result versus some of your previous games? Uh, just stopping runs. I mean, during the games, you talk about not giving up runs. Right now, we're trying to not give up run losses, try to get that one win so we can get on, the, get on a run with wins as well. So. And from what I understand, uh, you were named to the All-Star game. You're going to be uh, going up to the All-Star game as well. Uh, is that just like, are you pinching yourself over everything? Yeah, it's, uh, I really can't probably soak it in too well, but it's definitely something I'm enjoying it to the most, so it's going to be fun. That's cool. And any message for the fans at home for uh, Saturday's game? Just keep on watching and come. It's going to be fun.